Carl. Welcome to this issue from Scroll Saw Video. This short video, I'm going to show you how to do tracing of clip art. So let's get started. First of all, we need to import the clip art into the drawing area of Corel Draw. So let's, you can use this little icon, uh, button right here to import. Or you can go to File and go to Import. Or you can use Control I. But usually I either go here or here. So, okay, I'm going to click on this. I'm going to find the file where my pattern is. Okay, I found my file. I'm just going to double. I'm going to click on it once. And you'll see it comes with the file name here. And hit the import button. You'll see um, on my page which file I'm going to import. So I just left click and it brings it up. So I'm going to make this a little bit larger, a little bit easier to trace. So I'm going to grab this little black box down here in the corner left click and pull just like you were, would in a word application left click and pull okay, I'm going to hit the P button on the keyboard to center it in the drawing page okay let's get started doing a trace of this poodle so I'm going to come over here to the left side You'll see the one, two, three, four, fifth icon down. There'll be a little triangle in the corner. Click on that little triangle. You'll see, go over to the second tool, be Bezier tool or Brett Bezier tool, whichever you prefer. Click on this. And that will give you such as this, a drawing line. So we're going to use this drawing line to trace around this poodle here. So on my mouse button, I have my pointer, my crosshairs. I will start in this section. I'll put my crosshairs here and roll my mouse button up to zoom in. Okay. Bring the crosshair down to this corner. Left click once. I want to use these scroll bars. I want to left click again. Now you'll notice that it left a black line here. So we're going to turn that to a different color. So I'll go down here to this bottom. Left click twice. I'm going to change it to red. Now I'll give it a bigger drawing line of 1.0. Hit the OK button. Now it's easier to see the line. Now depending on which picture you are tracing will be which color that you want to use as your tracing line. I always find it easier to use a red against the black. OK. You can still see my line here. So scroll back in. I want to gently go around this poodle. Such as this. I found this outline of this poodle. I just typed in silhouette of dogs. And this is one of the items that came up in in uh, Google search. So still tracing around this dog. You see I keep going back over to the right and using my scroll bar. I'm 
come completely around the dog. The more nodes that you put on, a node is every time you click, there'll be one of these little boxes here. So the more nodes you put on, the more detail you can actually put in your tracing. Keep on going all the way around. Now I'm going to roll my mouse button back so you can see where I'm at right now. Got the uh, top of the dog, the front of the dog, front leg quarters, uh, the underside going to the back legs. So I have my crosshairs here. See my crosshairs. So I'm going to roll my mouse button up to give me a close up view. Still continuing to go around this dog. Now, if you're worried about copyright issues on these silhouettes that you find, uh, use your own judgment on these. On this dog that I'm using now, I'm just using this as a tutorial on how to use this CorelDRAW program. I am not going to keep this dog or the pattern. Like I said, I'm just using this as a tutorial, so everything will be erased in the end. It'll be no copyright infringement issues. Okay, still going around this dog. I've almost got it completed. Okay, I'm going to put the last cl click right here. And you'll notice that I haven't completely come to this last node yet. So to make things easy, when you're pretty close, you can even pull this one over closer. To make things easy, you can come up here to this icon here. It says Auto Close Curve. Just click on that once, and you'll see how it just automatically closed by itself. So I'm going to do that again. I'm going to erase what I just did. I'm going to come up here to Edit, Undo Close. So if you keep an eye on this right here, you'll watch it close by itself. I'm going to come back up here and hit this button again. See how it closed. Okay, the whole dog is traced. And I'm going to wait. One way you can know that it's completely enclosed, if you come over to, to the color bar on the right hand side, if you just pick any one of these colors, it doesn't matter. I'm going to do orange. Left click on the orange. And uh, if it did not have these, all these nodes closed together, this orange fill would not fill up the dog. So I want to undo this, edit, undo fill. I'm going to show you a rough example of this dog. I'm going to come over here to the pick tool, pull it out of the way. So, so, so far, this is my drawing outline. Okay, I'm going to move that back over to where it should be. Just hit the Edit, Undo, Move. Now we have to convert all these lines to curves. Okay, good example is the underside of his belly. So if you come over to the second icon down on the left side, I'm going to the shape tool, click on that once. Now, most patterns are going to have a lot of lines that you're going to want to convert to curves. But sometimes there's only going to be one or two curves that you need to do. So, since this has multiples, I'm going to convert this whole line to curves. So we have the shape tool. Come over here to the select all nodes. Click that once. 
and go to the left and hit this convert line to curve button. Click that once. So, okay, I'm going to scroll in. You'll see this little black dotted line on the inside of the red line. Put your pointer or your arrow on top of that black line, left click, and drag that down. Same thing over here, left click and drag. Left click and drag. Left click and drag. Left click and drag. We're on bottom of this front foot now. Left click and drag. Left click and drag. and drag. Okay, I'm going to show you a nice little trick here on this one. You'll notice that it has the, the tracing line and has the black dotted line in the center. I'm going to put my pointer over it and click once. And this little square here changed color. It changed to a clear infill. So I'm going to put my arrow over this square, click on it, and when I do that, it puts an, an arrow such as these. going from each one of these corners. So you can take one of these arrows, grab an arrow and, and pull the line such as this. I'm going to scroll up a little bit. I'm going to take this arrow. You can see my line goes in different shapes. That's another way of giving a more detailed curve. I want to pull this line over. Okay, you'll see how this line is not completely a good line here. So I'm going to click on this arrow here. Move it back. We'll see how that looks. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to continue with this. And uh, I'll get back with you shortly. Okay, I have the complete dog traced out. So I want to go up here to the pick tool. You'll see my outline here. I'm going to left click down here somewhere to get rid of all those nodes. Okay, I'll click on this, the imported version. Move it out of the way. Click on this one button next to your page. And there you have a completed outline of a poodle pattern. Now there are several different things you can do with this uh, to make your scroll saw pattern. Uh, you be the judge of how you want your finished product to work out. 
just be careful when you're importing patterns or just be careful when you're importing pictures from the, the internet do your best not have any conflict of copyright issues if you ever unsure of anything just don't do it that's my philosophy so I hope you enjoyed this short video